So André Pérez is the CEO of Ecotrix, who is uh, a company based in Brazil. Uh, and Ecotrix is developing uh, beneficial microorganisms uh, to control pests in the, in, uh, in the major uh, Brazilian crops. So André is, uh, uh, has a PhD uh, from uh, the University of Kentucky. He's an entomologist and uh, is going to present us uh, uh, the, the, his company. And what I want to mention is that uh, Brazil is, uh, is an example of, uh, of success, of uh, release of microbials in the field, and uh, especially uh, on sugarcane. And, uh, okay, André, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you all for inviting me to participate in this event. I'm delighted to present uh, my work here. Oh, can, I can't see my, my, my presentation. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay. So, uh, pests are known uh, as a cause of big damage in, in Brazilian agriculture. They are able to cause over 14 billion dollars of economic damage every year because of the attack on the plants. And that represents also a big yield loss. We are losing like over 4 million tons of food because of attack on pests. And the peak cost of pest, pesticide spraying, it's over 164 tons of pesticide sprayed every year, representing $2.9 billion of cost of pesticide spraying to try to control these pests. Also, that creates a big residue problem in our food. So, uh, also that creates a big problem of pest resistance, given that we are in a, in a tropical agriculture, so the big pressure of pests creates these problems. But the farmers, they also conflict with the escalating demand of pesticide-free food. So how can they produce this food without, uh, without spraying pesticides when uh, there's a big demand for food and inside our market and the international market too. That creates a big demand for biological control. Okay, we did a, 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 survey with, a survey with farmers asking them about the awareness of biological control products. 43% of the farmers say that they do not know products of biological control. Why? 57% of the farmers, they know biological control products. So, okay, it's quite balanced, but then when you ask the farmers, did you ever use biological control products? 61% of them say that they never use biological control products, while only 39% of these farmers ever use biological control products. Why are the farmers, uh, they know biological control products? They understand that there's a demand for pesticide-free products, why they are not spraying, why they are not using biological control as a major strategy. The, so the farmers say that the most important uh, question about biological control uh, companies is the offer of important after sales services, like for instance, field samplings, pest management plans, and results following up. So the farmers, they are uh, having contact with the biological control strategies, and they want to understand how does it work. They want to understand this uh, change in the strategies for controlling pests using biological control products. So they know the product, but they still don't know how to use it. They still don't know uh, how to use the strategies and how to use biological control products. So in this sense, Ecotrix merged as a company, it started as a company uh, with a goal to fill this gap that we have in our market, not only offering products, but the system needed, uh, demanded by the farmers. So the biological control can be used as a strategy and uh, the farmers will have on our assistance the help for decisions taking, which is the most important time for controlling pests in agriculture. So Ecotrix offers to the, to the farmers not only the products, 
but a, a service by signature where the farmers they can uh, contract eco tricks so they will have the product and the assistance offered necessary for applying biological control strategies in other kind of crops we are talking about uh, vegetable growers big crops like soybeans sugarcane and especially strawberry strawberry farmers and rosebud flowers so how does it work how is it how is our our business plan there are two ways that the farmers they can have our products one is from the retail sale when they are just like going through the the conventional means when they can buy our product from the retail sellers so they will create a demand to the retail sellers and the retail sellers will pass the demand to ecotrix and we will be producing this product but there's a question this farmers they will be paying the product the retail sellers will make over our products that we're selling to the retail sellers and that demand will be attended according to the demand that the farmers will pass to the retail sellers but our 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 project uh, offers something different to the farmers that is the signature when the, the, the farmers they will have straight contact with the farm with the with eco trips and then they can have access to our assistance not only in person but also they can have access to the uh, uh, remote assistance so when they need the products they can have uh, this product straight from the company and there's also agronomists and technicians out in the field who will help the farmers to make decisions taking so they will understand what product is the best one for that case and how often they will they will apply our products and will help them to read the results and show them that biological control is working even better than the conventional uh, strategies for controlling pests so the we are always together with the farmers showing the results and helping them to make the decisions taken and the product that we offer to these farmers is uh, predatory insects like grace, green, green lace wings like chrysopids and the predatory mice two species of predatory mice Cryptozeus macropolis and Azeurus californicus Cryptozeus macropolis is a, a species a native species from south america uh, is quite good in controlling uh, spider mites. Uh, in Nelson, California, uh, its uh, market there in Europe is the same that we use the same way here. We also offer egg parasitoids that is used um, in tomato growers for used by sugarcane growers. It's a parasitoid for eggs of Lepidoptera or Lepidoptera pests. We also sell the Festa quiniella eggs for other biofactories and for laboratories might as well. So for uh, assisting, for instance, uh, strawberry farmers, we have uh, the two species of predatory mice. One is Phytoseus macropolis, which is a highly uh, predaceous uh, predatory mite. It's able to prey on over 30 mites per day, spider mites per day. It's not uh, resistant to spraying of pesticides. And the Oseus californicus is highly resistant to spraying of pesticides, but it can be used uh, when the, the plants are not attacked by pests because it's able to feed on pollen and other pests too. So we offer uh, the products to the farmers and we uh, show them how to use both products at the same time. For instance, when we have farmers that we were making the transition from the conventional agriculture to uh, organic agriculture, they will probably have plants that will be uh, containing some residues of, of pesticides, or maybe the farmers they still don't want to abolish the spraying of pesticides. So we recommend them to use Neoseolus californicus. And when they see that the predatory mites are working good, they can, they can shift to the next level when they use Phytoseolus macropolis which is a pest that will be established there in the crop and the crop will be protected because it's a, a, now it's colonized by a highly predatory species and Tricogamma preciosum, uh, the, the parasitoid of eggs of Lepidoptera it can be released by drones in big crops or it can be released in, in cards 
for instance, in, in greenhouses and tomato crops, it's able to, par to parasite on a, a big uh, range of species of Lepidoptera, including the tomato pin worm, uh, uh, the fall army worm, and the corn ear worm. So, since the establishment of the company, when we started working with the signature system, we first attended in 2020, 25 farmers. So, the, it was so well established in the, in the market. And in 2021, we were attending 62 farmers. And in the next year, 2022, there was 20, 94 farmers attended by this system of signature. And now, in 2023, we are working with 107 farmers assisted by this uh, signature system. We are uh, some like over uh, uh, 5,000 bottles of predatory marketed with all the farmers via uh, farmers signature or with the retail sellers too. And that represents an area treated with by control over 293 hectares. So I'd like to thank you all for your assistance and I'm open for questions. Thank you. Thank you, Andre, for this talk. So it's time for questions now. Hello. Uh, thank you, Andrea, for, for your presentation. Uh, just to say that I'm a former a student for, from uh, Federal University of Viçosa. My name is Vinicius. I work for Embrapa in Brazil. Uh, just to have an idea, how is the willing to pay for the, the producers? Because uh, it's, a new, it's not a new product, but it's a new company. You're, you're trying to, to get uh, more uh, uh, consumers. How is, how is your uh, future plan in terms of getting new uh, farmers? How is the strategy they're using to, to increase and to improve, uh, ma mainly to increase the, the, the number of uh, uh, clients? Can you, can you say a few words about that, please? Yes. So, in the market, we can see that there's about uh, the acceptance of this system of working. When you have, let's say, let, let's use this term, the small farmers, they do not use to, to hire assistance, but they really need it. But the big farmers, they want it. They buy it, they sign it, and they want uh, to have a contract where they send the product the same way. So the way to, to have more, more uh, clients, let's say, is first, to work uh, closer to the retail sellers because the small farmers, they will be closer to the retail sellers and train the retail sellers to offer the assistance might as well. That's the biggest challenge for us to make the retail sellers as the provider of assistance too. And we are also shifting uh, stronger into the big farmers. Like uh, we are just building a, a new unit for production of uh, fast equine LX so we can go forward uh, in the market, attending bigger farmers, because you know that uh, the sugarcane market is the biggest demand in biological control. And we are building a new factory for producing a fascia quenella eggs and shifting to this new market that is huge and requires lots of biological control projects. Thank you. Other questions in the room? Yes, Aura. Thank you for your presentation. Um, maybe you can talk uh, a bit about your partners and uh, uh, why they did it contribute to that, if you have partners, or how, where does it come from, uh, R&D, until... Uh, the market and uh, do you do all the development alone on uh, the different uh, aspect of your business? Okay. So Ecotrix uh, had 
investment from private sector only, not investment from the public sector. And we are we already received investment from uh, private investors. We are we call it the, the class A investment phase. So we are moving forward for getting the class B and C when the, the investment is bigger and the company changes its uh, nature, let's say, like the way that we organize the company. And uh, the main part is of the research and development for, for Ecotrix is the University of Wisconsin, uh, where Vinicius is studying. So it's a quite, uh, let's say, good model for working for, bio, for, for biofactories because you have the, the partnership with the university. The university will have uh, the funding from the company, and the company can have uh, researchers and work with, together with the project. In an applied sense, not for development, but also for developing projects, for being fast marketed, and for solving problems in agriculture as fast as possible. Did you get your answer, Aura? If the connection was not very good at the end, so... Okay, yeah? Is there uh, one more question in, 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 the, in the room? Okay, there are questions in the chat. A, question, a question from Stéphane Lemarié. Uh, André, do you have competitor with same kind of uh, supply contract? For this kind of for this kind of uh, of contract a signature system of working, no, there's no other company working like this. There are some companies working here with uh, on farm production, so they can have the infrastructure from the company. The company will help the farmers to produce the, the biodefensives there in the farm. But that's not they are not quite uh, competitive for us because they work with microorganisms. The other companies are all selling the products to the farms and retail sellers. Th thank you. Okay, uh, maybe we move to the next talk. Thank you again, André. <clears throat> so the next talk will be given by Claire Baker Sons. Sorry. Okay, we need a few minutes. I'm going to sing. Or... André, are you still here? Yes, I am. Okay, so there, there's another question for you. Uh, is there a dif from uh, Thierry Merkling? Is there a difference, a different pricing system for a given products between the signature channel and the retail channel? Yes, there's difference of the pricing because uh, with the retail sellers, they will be looking the price over the product, the unit market. For us, there's like a, a layer of, uh, let's say, a given amount of products that that farmer, they can have straight from the company. So they don't need to go there and buy and buy, pay the price for a single product. They can have it straight from us because there's a, a, a Let's say a given amount of... Thank you. Okay. <laughs>